better not no homo, no, just, just don't get close to the bed. Don't get close to bed, but it's just like, yo, we want to thank you for hosting the thing, man, man. You, you, it's been a pleasure. You didn't have to do it, you did it. No, 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 I definitely didn't have to do it. I, I definitely didn't have to. Uh, Looks like the world can't get enough of Diddy at the moment. Whoever lawyer has hired must be getting a nice new Bentley this year because accusations and audios to prove them are being thrown around again. Now, sometimes a dispute doesn't come from personal reasons. Who this is who and who did that? Sometimes it's simply geological. The East Coast West Coast hip hop strife, which was undergoing some tension, especially in the 1990s, has some main characters which included East Coast rapper The Notorious Big, who was signed under P. Diddy's record label Bad Boy Records and Tupac, of course, who under the west side of the premise, under Shug Knight, Death Row Records. Now, hip-hop has seen some crazy fights and number one hits over the years, but this remains to be one of the most spoken ones in pop culture history, especially since it ended the lives of two of the music industry's most known rappers, Tupac and Biggie. Shook, who's in jail but has a podcast he uses that his fans are very avid listeners of, dropped another bomb on Sean's past relationships, including his one with Cassie and other women who he subjected to the same suffering. He identified another woman who suffered abuse at the hands of Diddy, someone well known to the public. As if the abuse wasn't enough, Diddy also accused her of stealing from his company. His assistant, Capricorn, was suspected by Diddy of hiding information about her relationship with Kid Goody. Combs assaulted her, though we don't delve into the details here. First, let's focus on Cassie in her lawsuit against Diddy. Shook Knight wasn't the only one to validate Cassie's allegations. Roger Bonds, Diddy's head of security, also came forward to discuss Diddy's abusive behavior towards Cassie. Roger is one of the witnesses Cassie cited in her lawsuit. Detailing incidents during her relationship with a music mogul, she recounted a memory where Diddy became extremely jealous after seeing her talk to another music manager at a party. He remained calm at the event, but started hitting her once they were in the car. He just can't help but swing in when he does some drinking. According to the lawsuit, he shoved her into a corner of the car and stomped on her face. Roger Bonds witnessed this and tried to intervene to protect Cassie, but his efforts were in vain. Roger later posted on Instagram with a story saying, this is not meant to be threats or snitching or anything like that against Cassie or Diddy or anyone else. This is me telling my truth as I truly remember it for two reasons only. First, because I have four daughters so in all dudes, my truth as I seen it, saw it, and was involved with it for years. Puffy was also known for his crazy parties, filled with the best celebrities and best booze. Or maybe, was it the stuff they put in them to make people believe so? A long time ago, some real good looking guy called Denzel Washington went to a Diddy party once and in his own words said he would never be going back there again. He was spotted leaving the event with an expression that said he wouldn't be coming back ever. Went to the nightclub, right? And we go and get to the VIP. All of these girls come around the VIP and they just be standing there. And like, let me tell you something, man. I'm gonna get back with you. We gotta rewind this back. We used to go to the when we go to the club, we used to have these bottles, right? And on this bottle, they be they be regular Moet bottles. On them bottles right there, they'd been to have something to make the girls be real, real slippery and all of this kind of stuff. So when you get up, they be like, don't touch them bottles right there and only drink them bottles right there. So we already knew what the drill was. You just don't mess with them bottles, right? Then all of the girls is in the club after a while, they all running, look, opening up their mouth like little birds. He just running around just popping pills in their mouth. Pop, pill, 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 pill. And then that was the party. Bro, you know, you'd be like, yo, let me go with my puff room, see what they doing. And you knock on puff door, he'd be sitting there damn near butt naked. You ever just had a grown ass man answer his hotel door butt naked and they'd be like, come on in? You'd be like, mm, I'll come back. A lot of rumors and speculations have been going around about Diddy's sexuality. Even rumors about hookups with Meek Mills, Nicki Minaj's ex. Here's a clip Sean took of Meek. I mean, I don't think that's just kissing your homies goodnight. Meek and Puffy sound like they're touching second base. Other than celebs, he likes to go for the occasional boys at church scenario. He even have 50 Cent talking about 
about Diddy and his generosity when it comes to his homies. He was even caught in his hotel room with quote, Romanesque looking guy laying around. He says things, he doesn't even know what he's saying is like fruity. He says something fabulous and he goes, yo, no, but me and you, we ain't party. Like, we need to party. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> then when people say that to me, I get a little uncomfortable. <laughs> like, when you see, you see Jay, the kids put his head down like, <laughs> while we, we stuck here right now. And the cameras just roll. Everybody see, don't make like it's just me, man. <laughs> Why do do some like, like a little fluffy stuff now going you guys on? Like he said, he said something to me one time, a long time ago. He told me he'd take me shopping. I looked at him like, what the f what the, what'd you just say? <laughs> Let me move, man, before I do something. You're gonna make me mess up the wedding. Let's Let me go. get out of, no, did, did you take me to that stick with a guy says tonight. to a girl. I asked 50 about that. He said you did the same thing to him. You asked him to take him shopping. Yeah, I thought he needed some clothes. What? I'm a nice guy. I don't have no beef with Fifth. He loves me. Y'all can't man. see that he loves me. But see, you really, hold on, you really think that's hate? You know he loves me. I don't think he like it. You know he loves me. I don't think he Man, it's been one of them motherfucking nights. I should have took some pictures before. Nice job. It's the end of the night and it was a motherfucker. So we, we coming to you live. Um, Diddy late nights. Um, anything can happen. I'm just vibing. It's so why? So why? You gotta keep the hair. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna wear this hair in Toronto in the morning. Hey, yo, let me ask you a question. Yelling. A nigga doing drugs in the ATL, the nigga at least excuse himself, go to the bathroom or some shit. Niggas in Hollywood just do the drugs right in front of you and act like ain't shit happened. You in the middle of a goddamn meeting. They, yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the movie with you and then we're gonna, we're gonna go back. <laughs> nigga, did you know that I can see you? <laughs> nigga, you right there, it's on your nose, nigga. What? Motherfuckers be gay in Hollywood, you never fucking expected. They be having these big ass mansion parties and the mansion party, the whole mansion is a party and then it's a separate party in the little rooms. I ain't been famous that goddamn long. I'm excited than a motherfucker to be at the mansion party. You be looking in all the goddamn rooms and you fuck around and look in the wrong room and shit. Nick, come here, come here. Is that two niggas kissing? Is one of them niggas Professor Obi? He came out the closet, he came out the closet. Oh my God, a rubber, rubber. Recently, there have been significant audio leaks involving Diddy, Jay-Z, and Snoop Dogg, primarily fueled by rapper 50 Cent. The most sensational claim from these leaks is the allegation of a secret affair between Diddy and Jay-Z. 50 Cent released snippets of audio recordings that he asserts provide evidence of this affair, sparking widespread debate and speculation within the entertainment industry. In addition to the affair allegations, 50 Cent has also hinted at a broader range of misconduct, involving both Diddy and Jay-Z, including manipulation, exploitation of young women, and other serious accusations. He has suggested that these revelations could be part of a larger documentary he is working on, which aims to expose the dark secrets of these music industry giants. Wait, 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 actually hit your sister for you to feel that? The Cassie thing, I'm talking about rape and everything. Why I don't discuss y'all so much? Like, why y'all niggas ain't ready to shoot the nigga in the head? God forgive me. Why it's okay that he gives it? Why is there even one person making an excuse for pedophilia, man? Man, touch kids, man. He touch little boys on their way up. I can't. Even if I feel that was my brother, my daddy, anybody, I'm not. I'm not speaking against him, but I'm not speaking up for him. It's 16. You come down there, you gotta, you know, wear your seat. I mean, I'm everything. 15. You could ride in the passenger seat. I got my permit. Now that, not yet. Sixteen. No, Sixteen. Ready. Let's slow right. down. Let's slow down, Josh. Okay. Let's okay. slow down. Okay. One, one step at a time. But yeah, yeah. The keys is yours. When you, you know, when you get sixteen, you right. good to go. I'm good to go. Yeah. All right. And then when you get eighteen, you get the house. You get the mansion. Okay. I yeah. get the mansion. Yeah. So where, where where are we off to now? Where would you like to go? Um, I mean, wherever you want to go. Where are we going? <laughs> we just 
So check this out, yo. Um, Justin, he's in. You ever seen the movie Forty Eight Hours? Right now, he's having Forty Eight Hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives, like, 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 you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. Um, we we can't really disclose, but um, it's definitely a fifteen year old's dream. Um, you know, I I, I have been given custody of him. You know, he yeah. signed the Usher. I'm signed to Usher. Uh, I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when, when you know, he, he did his first album. I did yes. Usher's first album. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, um, and yeah. These leaks and the ensuing controversy have caused a significant stir, drawing attention from fans, industry insiders, and public figures. The veracity and implications of these allegations are still under intense scrutiny, and both Diddy and Jay-Z have yet to issue comprehensive responses to the claims. The recent audio leaks involving Diddy, Jay-Z, and Snoop Dogg have stirred considerable controversy and speculation within the entertainment industry. These leaks, largely propagated by rapper 50 Cent, have brought forward serious allegations against Diddy and Jay-Z. Isn't that crazy I had to even say that? An affair between two of the biggest names in rap. Is all of this true or just a big ploy from the industry to take Sean down? Either way, 50 Cent released audio snippets suggesting a clandestine affair between Diddy and Jay-Z. These recordings, which hint at secretive and possibly manipulative behavior, have raised eyebrows and sparked intense discussions online. Beyond the affair, 50 Cent has hinted at more disturbing allegations. The leaked audio and accompanying claims suggest that both Diddy and Jay-Z have been involved in manipulating and exploiting young women. Specific allegations include Jay-Z's purported relationships with underage women, with claims that he forced Foxy Brown, then 15, into a relationship. Similar accusations have been leveled against Diddy, indicating a pattern of abusive behavior. While the primary focus has been on Diddy and Jay-Z, Snoop Dogg's name has also surfaced in these discussions. The details regarding Snoop's involvement are less clear, but it is suggested that he's somehow connected to the broader narrative of misconduct and exploitation within the industry. The entertainment industry is going crazy with reactions to these allegations. Even Fox is talking about it. Fans and critics alike are scrutinizing the behavior of these influential figures, and for a guy this hip-hop to be going through all of this, this is bad. There is a growing demand for accountability and transparency, with many calling for further investigations into these claims. Known for his bold and often controversial statements, 50 Cent's involvement has added a layer of more questions and intrigue to the situation. His motivations and the timing of these revelations have been questioned by some, suggesting that personal vendettas may be inf influencing his actions, sus or not. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. However, the severity of the allegations have overshadowed these speculations, focusing attention on the need for truth and justice. Check this out, y'all. I'm in a super mystical f now. Today is the second born day for Kim Porter. This is the day that she passed. And I'm just like in my backyard and I'm giving thanks for the time, the time that I had with her. You know what I'm saying? And today I'm going to share with y'all a little bit of the story because it's a true black love story and it's real, you know what I'm saying? And um, I know a lot of people you are going through grief right now. And man, I didn't think I was going to ever get up, ever be at this point today. But through the glory of God, I'm here and I'm a better man for it. And you know something? We ain't on our time, we on God's time. Yeah, Favorite that's camp. what it was called. And you're going to go to Puff Daddy's. He's gonna In the 90s. Do you understand what that's like? Puffy's place was like just filled with chicks and orging like nonstop, right? No, nah, not really. Come I mean, on. but did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was, <laughs> and it was, but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was, it was pretty wild. It was, so nobody it was tried to, you know, some woman didn't come along. I didn't and say that. Okay. I, I didn't say you that. Didn't. <laughs> what I did say is that there were very curious things taking place. Uh huh. And I didn't necessarily understand it. Uh huh. Biggie Smalls was Biggie there. Biggie Smalls was there. If the allegations are substantiated, there could be significant legal repercussions for those involved. Oof, sounds serious. Additionally, that's like social suicide. The situation remains fluid, 
just like his flow. With new information potentially coming out as investigations continue, the planned documentary by 50 Cent could further illuminate these issues, bringing more details to light and possibly implicating additional industry figures. The public and media will be closely watching how this story unfolds and whether the implicated parties will respond to the allegations directly. See you next time!